I'm just going to ask you, what do you like about Spark and Echo? Uh, what do you What do you like about the idea of it? I really love how I am <laughs> motivated to reflect both on my art and God's word. I mean, I do that, but because what I do is I do a series of work with a general theme, biblical theme. So okay. each work would be a bit general. So I love how Sparks and Echo like en encourage me to go deeper in a specific work. So, and I'm actually surprised every time I do sit down and pray and think about it that I was like, I really like, I really like my time there. That's why I said yes to a second one because I'm even challenging myself to do more a regular one, but you know, it's also busy now, yeah. but I did say yes a second time because I, I love the result, like my reflection, how I look at my art in a, you know, deeper way. So it's always, I'm always blessed whenever I, I do take that time. Okay. That's awesome. Um, we are in the middle of a fundraising campaign so that we can keep offering commissions to artists just like you. From your perspective, what are good reasons for people to give to Spark and Echo financially? I love, I'm a very visual person, so I love how it's a platform to invite people to also see God's word in a different way in a different way. Of course, we read our Bible, but it's also very, it's a privilege <laughs> to see mm -hmm. different um, type of art, different art forms and how these are all uh, inspired by the word of God, specific verses. So that's something to support because <laughs> we need more art to really speak, especially now yes. it's, a, you know, internet is, there's a lot of people online, and I think we need more art to speak about God and His message. Yeah, hear, hear. Okay. Like, what what happens between reading the scripture and looking at this beautiful art you've created as we see it now? It's really a journey because uh, I do have an initial vision whenever I read the scripture, but eventually as I continue with my daily life, God would speak to me and I would add more elements to the to the painting that I did not thought before so so initially I would know that that would connect it to movements and then what do you hope for for Spark and Echo Arts for Great. Sparks and Echo please continue what you're doing inviting artists to uh, reflect on God's word and like speaking through the arts. Uh, I just love how you lay out everything in your website. And although I don't have a Twitter and I'm not that active in Facebook, so I'm more active in Instagram. So I was hoping uh, I can see more sparks and echo in the Instagram world. <laughs> okay. We'll work on that. Yeah. yeah.